Today's project is unlike anything we have ever covered on this channel. While those giant structures might take their countries to new industrial and economic heights, they still can't match the larger-than-life impact of the architectural feat we'll discuss today. And that's not a metaphor, it's the reality. We're talking about the gigantic Three Gorges Dam, the largest dam in the world. And since great power comes with great responsibility, the Three Gorges is assigned the heavy role of controlling the third longest river on the planet, the Yangtze. In 2005, NASA estimated that the amount of water stored in the dam would increase the total length of an Earth's day to 0.06 microseconds and even affect the seismic activity of the region. That's the impact we're talking about. For centuries, humans have dreamt of taming the sea. The Three Gorges Dam is a product of that thinking. In ancient Chinese mythology, natural disasters like floods were attributed to war between gods or as punishments for wicked humans. As a result, everyone, including all gods, goddesses, semi-gods, and humans had to make tremendous efforts to stop these natural disasters. Yu the Great, a celebrated Chinese emperor and semi-god, was known for controlling floods. These myths continue to shape the thinking of future imperial rulers like the Sun Yat-sen, the father of modern China, who dreamt of building a massive dam on the Yangtze River. He wrote that a dam capable of generating 22 gigawatts was possible downstream of the Three Gorges. Little did he know that his dream would become a reality, but he won't be there to see it. In the 1940s, the engineer behind the Hoover Dam in Nevada, John Savage, was invited to survey the Yangtze River and draw a proposal for a dam. However, little attention was paid to this project as the Civil War started in China. The Yangtze River is notorious for causing extreme flooding, death, and displacement of millions. In 1931, when the Yangtze flooded, 4 million people were killed as the flood hit major cities like Wuhan, Nanjing, and beyond. The death and destruction of millions caused extreme losses to China, prompting the leaders to think of a solution to control the raging waters of the Yangtze. Being the biggest economy in the world after the US, this country is not new to making bold and costly ventures, especially when it comes to getting their way. In 2012, China unveiled its second Great Wall, theoretically speaking, the Three Gorges Dam. Every superlative applies to this piece of mega engineering that made China the world's biggest producer of hydroelectric power. It's the world's largest power station with a capacity of 22.5 gigawatts thanks to 32 turbines generating around 700 megawatts each. To put this in perspective, this energy is enough to power 1% of China for one year or the whole of New York for two years. In 2018, the Three Gorges beat the largest dam in the U.S., the Hoover Dam, by generating 20 times more energy, amounting to 101,000 gigawatt-hours. Given its magnitude, the construction comes at a hefty cost of $37 billion, or 249 billion yuan. This project is capable of meeting one-sixth of China's energy needs. But Three Gorges wasn't originally built for power generation, but rather to control floods. It's estimated that the Three Gorges would reduce floods from once in a decade to once in a century, potentially saving millions of lives. However, there's a bit of a disturbing development unfolding. In 2019, a Google image of the Three Gorges Dam went viral. The photo displays deformations along its length, showing that the dam might be close to collapse. If this were to happen, experts estimate that 400 million lives would be at risk accompanied by astronomical losses to the infrastructure. Major cities like Wuhan with a population of 11 million and Nanjing at 8 million would be completely wiped out by this flood. With widespread displacement that would continue, China would be sent many years backward. However, the Chinese authorities, including the company behind this project, were quick to deny these claims. They explained that these viral images aren't taken directly by a satellite, but processed through a series of algorithms. Moreover, the dam deformation is in an elastic state and slight deviations are in the acceptable range. However, the 2020 floods cast serious doubt on the dam's efficiency once again. With 219 people dead or missing and 54,000 homes destroyed as the Yangtze received its heaviest rainfall in 60 years, the Three Gorges Dam was filled to its maximum capacity due to the heavy downpour. While the dam didn't completely stop the flood, the Three Gorges Corporation claimed that the dam had intercepted 18.2 billion cubic meters of potential flood water. Miroslav Morenz, an associate professor of storage and hydropower, said the problem is not the design of the dam, but the expectation that the dam can solve all the problems of flooding on the Yangtze, the third largest river by volume in the world. 
Also, while the dam may catch most of the rainwater from upstream, it can do little for the heavy rain pouring on the middle and the lower reaches. After a record downpour, China admitted that some external parts of the dam had deformed slightly and seepage into the main outlet was reported. However, the structural integrity of the dam is sound, and the director of the project, Zhang Shu Gang, claimed that nothing could topple the dam for 500 years. Despite all this havoc, one has to admit that the Three Gorges Dam is a remarkable feat in the engineering world. Till 2007, the Itaipu Dam built on the border of Brazil and Paraguay was considered the largest power station with a capacity of 14 gigawatts. But once Three Gorges entered the picture, it lost its position, moving into the second rank. The Itaipu lost its second position too with the construction of the Bahaitan Dam, which is also located in China. The body of the dam is 1.45 miles and 607 feet tall. The project used 27.2 cubic meters of concrete and 463,000 tons of steel. This amount of steel is enough to build 63 Eiffel Towers. It's connected to two power stations on both sides and the electricity generated is transported via cables to as far as Shanghai. It's important to note that while the installed capacity of the dam is 22.5 gigawatts, the figure greatly varies depending on the amount of rainfall the Yangtze receives. In 2020, the dam's annual production reached nearly 112,000 gigawatt hours, breaking the previous world record of 103,000 gigawatt hours set by Itaipu Dam in 2016. When the Three Gorges was first proposed, there was a big problem in the way. Population it estimated that 13 cities, 140 towns, and 1,350 villages would be partially or completely flooded by the reservoir. This put the Chinese authorities in a moral dilemma to either save lives from floods or displace millions of people from their homes. Deciding on the latter, 1.3 million people were forced to relocate. Even though the government provided housing facilities, they were mostly of subpar quality. Many farmers who owned lands on the banks of the Yahtzee were now left jobless. It was impossible to resettle such a large amount of people in the host cities. Many locals complained that the compensation government provided was siphoned off by corrupt bureaucrats. Although the older generation suffered greatly, the younger generation benefited from moving to cities that offered better educational and career opportunities. The government tried to justify the displacement by claiming that the dam provided protection for millions. But that wasn't the only downside to this mega project. Three Gorges forms a reservoir of 412 miles long and inundates an area seven times the size of the District of Columbia. As the water level was raised by several hundred feet, hundreds of archaeological sites were submerged by the dam. Much of the limestone and graphite cliffs that were a major tourist attraction are also now invisible. Even though the landscape of the Yangtze has completely changed forever, the construction of the Three Gorges has also boosted tourism. In 2015, nearly 2 million tourists visited the region, bringing in a yearly revenue of 3.5 billion US dollars. Here's how the dam works in simple words. In the dry season, the water level is kept at a maximum of 574 feet to produce electricity. Once the capacity is full, the dam opens its floodgates, systematically releasing the stored water. The pressure with which the water pours down the steep incline is enough to rotate a turbine that produces a current. Before the rain arrives in summer, the dam has to create space for the upcoming water. The water level is gradually lowered to its minimum of 475 feet. The lowering of water levels creates 22 billion cubic meters of storage space, enough to contain nearly 9 million Olympic-sized swimming pools of water. But that's not all. The raising of the water level created another advantage for the Yangtze. It allowed huge cargo ships to sail that could carry millions of tons of cargo. To facilitate this, two ships' locks were installed that were intended to increase shipping from 10 million to 100 million tons annually. The locks made the transport safer as the gorges are difficult to navigate and also slash the transportation cost. Vessels weighing up to 10,000 tons could be transported, but the transit time is four hours. To make the process faster, engineers also added a ship lift, which is more or less like an elevator for ships. With a capacity of 3,000 tons, the lift only takes 30 to 40 minutes as opposed to four hours taken by the ship locks. The lift wasn't complete when the rest of the project was opened in 2006 but became operational in 2016. Plans are underway to create two short railways on both sides of the bank. The Northern Railway is nearly 55 miles long, running from Taipingxi Port Facility to Baiyang Town, while the Southern Railway extends from Maoping to Zicheng. While the Three Gorges was hailed as a monumental success for the environment as it reduced China's dependency on coal, it also destroyed the rich biodiversity of the area. 
The 360 different species of fish that call the Yangtze Basin their home are now at risk because of the Three Gorges. In fact, several of the freshwater fishes have been injured because of the hydroelectric blades of the turbine. Many blame the extinction of the Chinese river dolphin on the dam, while the already endangered Siberian crane continues to be affected by it. The raising of the water levels also increased landslides in the area, with 97 incidents occurring in 2010. Do you think that building the Three Gorges Dam was worth it? Or did it create more problems than it actually solved? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you liked today's video, give it a like and subscribe to Visionary Build for more mind-blowing architectural projects.